In addition to timers, you can have counters. Counters let you count up and down, or the number of cars in the parking lot, or other things. Uh, up counter, CTU. Every time you have an edge on count up, it will count up to max count. Now for the up counter, you do a right click, variable selector, the clear is going to be digital input 1. So you want to clear the counter. The max value, notice on this, PV has to be a double integer. So if you go under here, right click, variable selector, want a double integer, I call it max count, and the initial value for max count is going to be Eight. I'm going to count up to eight. An example of this would be the number of cars in the parking lot. As cars enter, nothing happens when the lot is full. Then you have eight cars in there, the red light turns on. So compiling the code. Then download. thinking. About 30 seconds later, code should be downloaded. I'll enter debug mode so you can see what's going on. Now if I hit digital input 0, that should count up. Digital input 1 clears the count. So now I'm going to count. One push. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Light went on, parking lot's full. At the end of the day, when you dump all the cars in the street, it goes back to zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's an up counter. There's also a down counter. When you load, you start with the max number, and you count down to zero, stop at zero. So here's the down counter. As I hit the button to count down, nothing happens because I'm already at zero. When I hit button one, load, it'll load eight in the value. And then I can decrement down to zero. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let's get to zero, it goes high again. We keep counting, nothing happens, lots already empty. Reload with eight cars. That's the down counter. An up-down counter has two inputs. I can count up on CU, I can count down. When I reset or clear the output, I go to zero. When I load it, I go to max count, and I have to specify the max count. You have two outputs. If it's the output, QD is true when I'm at the lower counter zero. QU is true when I'm at the high count, or 8, and both are false when I'm between 0 and 8. We step up and start counting up. 1, the yellow light just turned off. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, red light just turned on. As I keep counting up, I stop at 8. I start counting down, 7, both lights went off. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, the yellow light went on. That's an up-down counter. With counters, here's another way to do a stoplight. I can just count up once a second, and then count up to 15. When I get to 15, I'll clear the count. When the number is less than or equal to 5, turn on the green light. 
and then 10. So within 10, turn on the red light, kind of like a level control. So here we have an indication of how full the parking lot is. As I count up, when the lot is empty, the blue light turns on. See down here. So you start adding cars. One, two, three, four, five. At five, the green light turns on. Then this greater than or equal to. Scrolling down, when we get to ten, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The yellow light turns on. And this greater than or equal to. And then finally from the up down counter, when you get to 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, the red light turns on. Count it to 15. So count down. The blue light turns on when you get to zero. You can also use counters for stoplights. I'll count to 15 at a certain value of counts. The green light turns on between 6 and 7 seconds, yellow on, 8 to 15, red is on. But we'll leave that as a homework assignment.